Cowardy, cowardy, go, 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 <laughs> the New Zealand All Blacks doing the hacker. The name All Blacks conjures up respect and admiration wherever you go in the world, especially in Wales. In contrast, you have six Welsh children enjoying themselves in All Black jerseys performing the beginning of the hacker. They are enjoying the opportunity to perform and express themselves. The jerseys are original and the oldest, a 1905 jersey worn by Lowry, is exactly the same as one which sold for a world record price. Let's see how much it fetched at auction. Okay, so on to lot number one, which of course is the jersey. And I say the jersey, what a, what a jersey it is. Not only is it the jersey from the 1905 tour, where New Zealand cemented their place um, as uh, rugby's finest side, but also it's from the Wales match and was match worn by the captain, Dave Gallagher. You know it's history, it's time to decide its future. Um, and I should think this will be the one and only opportunity to buy this shirt. Okay, so on we go. Lot number one. I'd like somewhere near the top estimate to start. Give me 35,000. 35 in the room. Uh, 95, 100,000. 170,000. Yeah. At 180,000. 180,000, yeah. Going once, going twice. Yours, That's me in the back. I went to the auction with the intention of buying that jersey, with a budget of 50000 I thought I might have bought it at the top estimate of 40000 but I didn't get a bid in. Interestingly, there were at least four people willing to pay over £100,000 for that jersey, and by the time the buyer's premium, etc. was paid, the total price of that jersey was around £218,000. I've been collecting rugby memorabilia for the last 55 years and I would consider that I have one of the finest collections in the world. My collection comprises of memorabilia from the perceived origin of the sport to present day. From a Webb Ellis signature dated 1826 to the seventh cap jersey of the world's greatest number seven, Richie McCaw. From a Welsh cap awarded to Bert Gould, who scored the only points in Wales' first Triple Crown match of 1893, to a signed match used ball from the first Welsh victory of the 2008 Grand Slam season at Twickenham. It has always been my dream to physically display my collection and to combine it with others to celebrate the history of Welsh rugby at all levels. From grassroots level in the schools and the clubs to the international game. With the partial sale of my collection, I hope to be able to buy a property and create a Welsh rugby heritage centre that will celebrate the history of the game in Wales. I'm looking to sell my New Zealand All Black jersey collection and many more items of rugby memorabilia by auction on the Rugby Relics website this autumn, starting on October the 28th, 2022. Please visit our websites for more details of how to bid and buy memorabilia from my collection at www.rugbyrelics.com and www.world rugbymuseum.com For updates on the auction via our YouTube channel Walk Around Wales please subscribe For updates via Facebook please like the Rugby Relics Facebook page